Today I'm going to show you how to make this Sailor's Knot dish cloth. You can make it in um, one color or you can make it in the three colors, any of your choice. Um, what I use is the um, natural cotton double knit yarn in the three different colors. But you can make it in any one. Um, the, the cotton is very nice for a dish cloth. Um, so... What you're going to need is your yarn. Uh, you're going to need, a, I used a three and a half millimeter crochet needle, your pair of scissors, and you're going to use your embroidery needle. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a slip knot. And then we're going to make 52 chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with a slip knot. And then 52 chain stitches. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty one, and fifty two. And then I'm going to join the, the first one that we made, the first chain, we're going to join to make a ring with a slip stitch. There you go. And there's your ring. And this is more or less the size that your dishcloth is going to be. Now the next row. When you join, make sure that you don't twist and twirl your chains. Um, so let's just make sure before we join that our chain is all not twisted because we're going to work in this chain stitches so it's always a good idea to not to rush and make sure that they are all in the same direction before you join with a slip stitch there you go Now, I'm sorry. Now we're going to make one chain. And then one single crochet stitch in the next six chains, chain stitches. One. Two, three, four, five, And six. In the next one, we're going to make three in the next one. Three single crochet stitches. So it's one, two, and three. Then in the next 12, we're going to make single crochet stitches. So one, two, eleven, and twelve. 
then three single crochet stitches in the next stitch one two and three and then again in the next 12 we're going to make single crochet stitches Then three in the next one, three single crochet stitches, one and two and three. And then 12 again, 12 single crochet stitches in the next 12 chain stitches. And 12, then three in the next chain stitch, one. two and three and then one single crochet stitch in the next six chain stitches and you will be at the end of your row here where you're going to join with a slip stitch okay so i joined with a slip stitch there and then you can see the nice square that this made nice square okay then the next one, the next row, we're going to start with three chain stitches, one, two, three, and now where we made our single crochet stitches, we're going to make double crochet stitches, so six double crochet stitches. Two, three, four, five, six. Then three double crochet stitches in the next stitch. One, two, and three. Then we're going to make double crochet stitches in the next 14. Uh, chain, uh, single crochet stitches, then three again, then again 14, three, 14, and we're going to continue with this until we get to the end of this row where we're going to make a slip stitch in the third chain there. Okay, so I made my 14 double crochet stitches, then three in the next one. One. two, three, then 14 again in the next 14, single crochet stitches, three in the one, and then 14 again, and three in the next one. Okay, so now I've made my three there, and then the last stretch here, we're going to make double crochet stitches in the last seven before we join this row, complete this row. So seven, one, two, okay, and this is how it looks after your second row. 
Now the next row, we're going to also start with three chain stitches, which will count as your first one. So one and two and three, and then you're going to make double crochet stitches in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven, and in the corner, we're going to make five double crochet stitches in that same stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to continue and make double crochet stitches in the next 16 double crochet stitches until we get to the corner here where we're going to make five double crochet stitches again. Okay, we're going to continue now in the next stitch five double crochet stitches one two three four and five and we're going to do the repeat this twice so we're going to go 16 then five in that one 16 down and five in that one okay for so i made my five double crochet stitches in that last stitch there and then we're going to make a double crochet stitches in the next in the last eight stitches before we're going to join with a slip stitch there on the third chain that we made there. So eight of them. One. Two. Okay. So for the last row, we've got our squares coming on very nicely. And I think it's going to be a nice size for a dishcloth. Um, we're going to start with a chain one. And then a single crochet stitch in the next 10 double crochet stitches. So single crochet in the next 10. One, two, then in the next one, we're going to make four single crochet stitches. One, two, three and four for the next um, side we're going to make 20 single crochet stitches until we get to this corner here so 20 of them until we get to the corner here after 20 single crochet stitches we're going to make four in the next one one, two, three, and four. And we're going to repeat this now twice. Where we're going to make 20 single crochet stitches until we get to the corner where we're going to make four single crochet stitches. And then in this side as well, 20 down with four in the corner. Then your last stretch here. 
of your major 4 there is going to be 10 and then a slip stitch there into that first chain and then you're going to cast off but I'll remind you when you get to this so it's 20 with 4 in the corner 20 with 4 in the corner okay so I made my 20 with 4 in the corner 20 with 4 in the corner and now for the last stretch we're going to make 10 single crochet stitches and so we get to where we started with a chain, slip stitch in the chain, and then we're going to cast off. Okay, so this is how your first square is going to look when you're done. And now we're going to do our second one with different color, but you can use any color. You can use the same color. It doesn't matter. I'm going to cast on. Start with the slip knot again. And then I'm going to make 59 chain stitches. 59. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now we're not going to, um, we're not going to make a circle. Or a square in this case like we did with the first one we're gonna work in the line here we're gonna make the shape shape from here but the pattern is more or less the same it's just not going to be slip stitches in the end to combine the rows so um, we're gonna make a single crochet stitch in the second chain from the hook so in that one there And then we're going to make single crochet stitches in the next 13 chains. One, two. Okay, then we're going to make three single crochet stitches in the next chain. One, two. Three. And then we're going to make single crochet stitches in the next 28 chain st stitches. So single crochet stitch in the next 28 chain stitches. Three. And you can see it makes a corner. Three. Four. Five. Okay, once you're done with your 28 stitches, you're going to make three single crochet stitches in the next stitch. One. Two. And three. And then a single crochet stitch in the next 14 stitches. And that should bring you up to the end there. So 14. One. Two. Okay, so I'm here at the end of this row. Now I'm going to turn around my work and make three chain stitches. One, two, three. Now I'm going to make double crochet stitches in the next 13 single crochet stitches that I made. One, two, three. 
Okay, so I made my double crochet stitches in 13. Now in the next stitch, I'm going to make two double crochet stitches. Oops. One. Two. And then in the next one, I'm going to make three double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and then in the next one, I'm going to make two again. One, two. Now I'm going to make double crochet stitches in the next 21 sing 28 single crochet stitches so 28 double crochet stitches in the next 28 single crochet stitches okay i make my 28 double crochet stitches now we're gonna make two in the next one two double crochet stitches in the next one one two Oh, come on now. And then three in the next one. One. Two. Three. And then two in the next one. One. Two. And now we're going to continue with our double crochet stitches in the next 14. Okay, so I'm done with this run. I'm going to turn my work around and we're going to make three chain stitches. So one, two, three, and then a double crochet stitch in the next 14 stitches. One. Two, three. Okay, so now we're going to make two double crochet stitches in the next two. So two in this one. One, two. And in the next one also two. One, two, then three in the next one, one, two, three. And then again two in the next two. One, two, and one, two. And there you've got your nice turn there. Now we're going to make one double crochet stitch in the next 30 stitches. One. Two. Three. Okay, I've done my 30 double crochet stitches and I'm at my next corner here or my next round. So now we're going to go and make two double crochet stitches in the next two stitches. One. Two. 
like we did in the previous one. One, two, and one, one, two, then three in the next one. One, come on now. And then again two double crochet stitches in the next two. One, two, one, two. Two. Now we're going to make one double crochet stitch in the next 15 double crochet stitches up to the end here. And then we're going to turn around for the last row. Okay, I'm done with this row now. I'm going to turn around. Start with one chain. And then a single crochet stitch. In the next 16 stitch uh, double crochet stitches of the previous row. So this row is single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now for the in the for the next nine double crochet stitches, we're gonna make two single crochet stitches in each of them. So this is number one. There's two. Number two. One. Two. Number three. One. Two. Number four, number five, number six, seven, eight. And nine. Now a single crochet stitch in the next thirty two double crochet stitches. I'm done with my thirty two single crochet stitches. Now in the next nine, we're going to make two again. So this is number one. Number two, number three. Now for the last stretch here, we're going to make a single crochet stitch in each of the next 16 double crochet stitches. Once you've done with your 16 single crochet stitches, you can fasten off and work away your ends. One, two, three. Okay, so this is how this is going to look when you're done, when you fasten off and you work away your ends. Now you must make another one that looks exactly like this one. I'm going to make it with this purple. Um, once I'm done with that, I'll show you how to um, finish this whole dishcloth. 
Okay, so I made my two circles here. The purple one and a green one. And now we're going to weave it in into my square. Now here you need to concentrate. We're first going to take the one. Let's take the purple one. Put the green one there. Okay. And we're going to put it on top of this orange one. Like that. Now the first portion on your left, this side, is going to go underneath your square on that side. And then on the bottom side here, it's going to go on top. So just make sure that your part is flat and not twisted. So this leg on, on the left side here is underneath and the one on the right is going on top. And then on this side, it's going to go, the one that went underneath there is going to go on top of this side. This one is on top, so this leg is going underneath, like so. And now, you're going to work, work this loose part together. I'm going to quickly do that, and then I'm going to show you how to do the green. Now we're going to take the green. And we're going to do the same. We're going to put it on top. Let's turn it around so that we can work from top to bottom. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this board. And we're going to go underneath the orange. And bring it up so that we can make sure that our ends is not twisting and turning. So if it goes underneath on this side, it goes up over on top on this side. So we went underneath this one. So over the next leg, the, the purple leg, then underneath the next purple leg. So let's take it underneath this one. And then it will go over the orange one here at the bottom. So it's over this one, so it must go under on this side. And then over the first orange one, ah, oh, purple one, sorry. And this side, we're going over, so underneath this one, this first orange leg on this side. Ah, oh, purple leg, sorry. So this one is over and underneath. So underneath this leg here, we're going to work that one close. So let me quickly do this. I'm going to turn it around. So these two parts here. I'm going to quickly work them together and then I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. And there it is. Nicely weaved in. If you want to, you can work this close on this side, but it's not, you don't need to. I hope you enjoy my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel to see some more projects and some more ideas that I've got for dishcloths or granny squares or anything. And hope to see you soon.